Hi guys, welcome back to another update on Angus, the 1977 Mark III Mini. In this video today, I'm going to refit the brackets, or the bracket, for the fuel tank. I'll take you into the boot and uh, let you have a look at what we're going to be doing. As you've seen in um, a previous video, Kev and I got the boot floor put back into or the new boot floor put back into Angus. I've got various brackets to to change. I've got this to renew. I'll do that when um, I do the wheel tub. I'm going to renew that um, panel there because it's a bit it's a bit crap as you can see there. This panel round here that looks okay. Um, so I'll probably get away with keeping that but if it's cheap enough I might just order a new one anyway and I've also got the, the bracket for down here to renew as well so as you can see that will fit in there but today's video is this bracket now you obviously don't get the bracketry on the, the new boot panel when you purchase it. So this bracket is going to sit roughly, roughly like that. So um, yeah, what I'll need to do though is get the fuel tank in and um, that will give me the definite size for where this sits but before I do that I'm going to have to clean off the the sticker here and um, put a bit of primer on the floor so that I can scrape around it with a pencil or make it easier so um, we'll quickly do that just now we'll get rid of this sticker and we'll give the boot floor in this area a little prime the best way that I've always found to get the stickers off the off the panels is to use a little heat gun um, because once you heat it up it normally just melts the glue and it lets you peel the sticker off in one go so we'll, um, we'll give it some heat treatment It doesn't need a lot of heat, so um, yeah, let's see if it comes off in one go. It might not at the end because it's, um, the sticker's all broken and scratched there, so we'll give it a go anyway. I think it's knackered everywhere to be honest. I should have really took this sticker off um, before I fitted the panel. There we are, that's uh, came off quite nicely. What I'll do is I'll just give that a little wipe with some thinners and then we'll give it a little flatten back for the weld through primer to go on it. I've run out of thinners, but panel wipe does just as good a job. There we go. Now what I'll do now is I'll give that a little scratch back to give the edge primer a key and then um, we'll give it a quick splat. Thank you. 
Right, I'm pretty sure um, this is the area here that I'm going to weld down to. So what I'll do now is I'll just give that a quick little clean with some panel wipe because it is a bit dusty and um, then give it a quick splatty paint. This is the weld through primer that I'm going to use, um, this frost stuff, it seems to be quite good. Um, so we'll give that a quick little splat. Right, there we go, that should do it. Nothing silly. Um, let that flash off and uh, I'll go for a cup of tea. And then when I come back, we'll get the, the tank offered up. That's made a brew. And um, I've dug the the fuel tank for Angus uh, out of the shed, where it's been for the last two or three years. Um, obviously the fuel tank's going to need to be um, overhauled and painted. Uh, the inside you can't really see in there, it's too dark. The inside's actually not too bad, but it will need um, cleaned out inside. So, if anybody can recommend me a product to use to clean out the inside of the fuel tank, if you could just leave your comments um, below, and um, yeah, that'd be great. And I can have a look through them and then um, decide what product I'll go for. But the inside of that tank will need cleaned before it goes back in the car for obvious reasons. So, I've dug out the tank. I've lost a little um, rubber seal that goes on the, the body of the car. So, um, God knows where that is. It's probably perished and I've chucked it out. So I'll need to order a new one of them. And um, dug out the strap as well. That was a ball ache to find. I couldn't remember where I put it and it ended up in the loft. So yeah, what I'll do now is we'll get this tank in position roughly. We'll put the strap on and um, we'll see where that bracket's going to sit on the on the boot floor. Right, first things first, um, bracket and some lightage. Bracket in. Now that's loose, so I'll move it out. Lovely. Now, uh, keys. Let me take that cap off. Can't believe how small this tank is compared to what's on the 30. Um, obviously, this will have more boot space. Might have been a smaller tank. There we go. Right. Bracket. Um, I checked on the on the thirty, and it does go that way. So that will sit in there. I think it would be a good idea to put that bolt in to make sure that it goes in square.
think that might be a bit too high, but we can fiddle about with it. Well, it's not too bad there. Yeah. Want to make sure that all the flats um, on the bracket touch the floor. So just a matter of tweaking it. And also want to make sure that the nozzle is coming out fairly square. Which that looks pretty good, yeah. And it's touching, it's touching everywhere there. Right now, does this bolt go in square? Right, I'll get you in and uh, let you have a look at this. Right, as you can see there, I've got the bracket sitting square. Um, I didn't take any measurements off this floor, or the original floor. Um, kind of glad I didn't either, because guaranteed if I did, I'd probably end up in the wrong place. So, yeah, that's um, sitting nice there, as you can see. And if I come round to this side, you can see that it's sitting flat as well. And that looks like it's within the area that I, I ground. Uh, so I can see the marks of the, of the sandpaper there. So yeah, all I need to do now is um, I'll s draw around that and um, punch a few holes in that bracket and then um, we'll plug weld the bracket onto the floor. Right now I'm happy with this so I'm just going to mark up on the floor where the brackets to go back to. That should do that. Let's get the, the tank out again. Right, that's uh, pretty good. As you can see there, that's where the the brackets going to sit when I weld it in. So what I'll do now is I'll get some holes punched in this, and um, I'll get it welded in. That's me giving the underside of the bracket here just a, a little squirty weld through primer, um, and I've cleaned off the the top side as well. I haven't given that a coat of primer. There's no point because I'll be obviously grinding that back and then um, priming the priming over the top yet. 
So, I've got my marks here. That's going to fit in there like that. So that'll be the position that it's going in there. And I'll get the get the welder on it. As you can hear, it's running in the background. So, well, um, we'll get that done now. Right, I've stuck a wee uh, clamp in there um, to help hold it down. So now I'll just um, stick it onto the boot floor. I think that'll do that. I'll give it a little uh, grind back and then we can get some uh, primer over that and try the tank, make sure that it fits. Right, that's uh, the bracket all welded in and uh, cleaned up. So um, now let's see if the fuel tank fits in. I'm happy with that. So um, what I'll do now is I'll get the tank back out secure it fits and um, I'll give it a coat of primer happy days Well guys, I'm going to um, wrap it up there for today. I'm very happy with how that bracket's um, went in. Um, it's had a coat of etch primer, so once that's dry, probably tomorrow, I'll just give it a little skim off um, seam sealer, let that dry for a day, and then splat it with some undercoat, normal undercoat. Um, so yeah, that'll be that. Righty-ho, it's uh, a few days later. And that's the tank in. It's sitting level now. The sharp eyed amongst you would have noticed that at the start of the video, the tank was sitting up just slightly at the front here. And um, this bolt, this retaining bolt, was going through that hole in uh, the seam of the tank. Um, just to confirm, the bolt doesn't go through that hole, as I later found out, because it was hitting the the boot lid just here so that's um, that's the correct position there and the strap fits a damn sight better so yeah that's how it goes um, so I'm obviously going to have to look at the tank on the ferry because I'm pretty sure I put the bolt through the hole and the tank was quite tight so that's something to look at so um, now that I'm happy with that, I can uh, get the tank and the strap painted up at some point and uh, get the inside of it cleaned out. But to be fair, the inside's okay. But as I said at the start, if um, any of you guys have got any recommendations for good products to clean the inside of the tank out, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Well guys, I'm going to wrap that up here and um, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>